Uncertainty means you'll never actually be able to measure something. But how close can we get there? Well, let's say we have precision and we have accuracy. Two wildly different things that people still misconceptualize as the same thing, which is honestly confusing nowadays, because precision and accuracy are wildly different, although they can be synonymous in some uh, scenarios. Anyways, what is the thing that differs from precision and accuracy? Let's say that we have a dartboard to visualize precision and accuracy. And now, let's say I have well, four shots on all of them. So, let's say that I want high precision, but low accuracy. High precision, but low accuracy. How can this turn out? Well, high precision means you're getting consistent, but low accuracy means you're nowhere near the true value. So that means that, well, you get something, well, since the only component is precision here, and there's almost no accuracy, you get consistent results every time. They're far from the true answer, but they're consistent. That means they always are near each other every time. Just do that with the bullseye, and then you're the best player ever. They kind of go together. It's gonna be hard to explain. But basically, you're getting near a bullseye, so you're close to the true value, but your answers themselves are pretty far away from each other. So they're not that consistent, although they're scoring near the bullseye. They're not that consistent. So that means that uh, although there's high accuracy, there's very low precision. That means that, well, this is basically how it would look like. But now, let's become the worst, laziest player of darts that you can ever freaking get. Low precision, low accuracy. What is this gonna be? Well, it's certainly not gonna be this. Hmm, how about we sit on the couch and shoot at the wall? So, um, you just shoot at the wall. Now, they are uh, nowhere close to the bullseye. They're not even on the board anymore. And the, they're not even consistent at all. So this isn't really that close to this. It takes an entire bullseye stretching between them. Then you have this. Yeah, you can see they're not that consistent. I'll just tell you that much. Now, high precision and high accuracy. Accuracy would mean getting near a true value. So let's use green for that. So getting near the true value would be getting near a bullseye. And precision would be getting consistent results. In this case, consistent results near a bullseye because we're aiming for the true value, which is a bullseye. So, you would basically just get a bullseye every time. That was nice, am I right? Earlier, that bench I measured to be 240 centimeters. But I don't know. This could have probably been an error on my part. There's probably some uh, degree of uncertainty since it only went up to one centimeter as the smallest division. So that means that it's probably the answer is actually plus minus one centimeter. It could range anywhere from 239 to 241 centimeters. And that, folks, is how you take care of uncertainty. To find the percent error is we divide 2% by the measurement that we made, uh, notably 240 centimeter, and multiply it by 100%. Now, um, uh, after doing some of the maths on uh, uh, doing some of the maths and doing some of the hacks on my computer, I can calculate that it's about. Uh, let me think for a second. So we are dividing two percent, which would be a point zero two. Well, let's just think of it as two hundred, and then we're dividing it by two hundred and forty five six of a percent. So that's a very small error, but it's still error. So that means that it's uncertain. What we learned is, well, uh, some things just can't be trusted, like your scale. Your scale puts unreliable numbers when uh, it puts the second decimal digit when it knows it can't even measure the second decimal digit. So is that really a significant figure? And that, folks, leads us to sig figs. Watch that in the next lecture. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.